guys, this is Sarah for Alpenwild and today I am coming to you from Zurich, Switzerland. In fact, I am at the Zurich airport, which for many of you will be the first stop on your Swiss vacation with Alpenwild. Getting out of the airport and off on your adventure is so easy thanks to Switzerland's amazing, super easy to use, efficient and convenient rail system, which is what I am going to show you how to use in today's video. It's fully integrated, which means it is so easy to go directly from the airport to the train, onto a bus or a tram, wherever you need to go to get to your final destination. And when you book with Alpenwild, you will receive a Swiss rail pass that grants you access to over 28,000 stations and stops throughout Switzerland. But if you don't have a ticket, you don't need to worry because it is very easy to pick one up on the go at one of the many ticket machines that are located everywhere. Or if you're a really good planner, you can download the SPV mobile app before you arrive to Switzerland or right when you arrive here and you can also buy your tickets and check the timetables on that app. you've claimed your bags and got your train ticket it's time to get on the train let me show you just how easy it is so almost every train station in Switzerland will have a screen similar to the one behind me and if it doesn't have a screen it will have a printed poster that tells you all of the departure times and tracks that the train departs from so this is our train today departing at 11:46 a.m. we are going to the Zurich main station and you can see on the right side it leaves from track number three, so that's where we're headed. So we are now down here on track three. As you can see, we took the elevator down, but there are also escalators, so you don't have to take the stairs, which is really nice, especially if you have a lot of luggage with you. Always check for an elevator or escalator. So our train is about to arrive, and we are going to be traveling in second class, because second class in Switzerland is amazing. Actually, it is very clean and very comfortable. First class is more of a way to spoil yourself. You have a bit more room, and it is usually a little bit more quiet. So on every track, you will find these overhead signs that have all the information that you need to know about the train. The main thing you wanna look for are those little number one and two. That marks where you need to be standing on the platform. So for example, we have a second class ticket and you can see on the overhead sign that we should be standing in the section B or C on the track here. So we're actually in D right now, so we have to move up to sector B or C. So once you're on the train, you're gonna to need to store your luggage. So most wagons will have a luggage rack. If yours doesn't, just check the next one down so you can put it right here. The other place you can place your luggage is right here between the seats. So now that you have your luggage stored, you are ready to sit back and relax, enjoy the view. The train rides in Switzerland are always so so beautiful and really relaxing as well. So some things to know about riding the train, almost every wagon will have restrooms, so you don't need to worry about that. They're free, they're generally pretty clean and nice. So if there isn't one, again, in your wagon, just check the one right next door. The conductor will likely come and check your ticket at some point throughout the journey. You can just stay in your seat. They will come through the cabin, you'll hear them make an announcement, and everyone will start showing their ticket. They generally speak really, really good English, so you can ask them if you have any questions, 
about your connections or anything about the train in general. The stops will be announced by the conductor so you don't have to worry that you won't miss it or anything. You'll hear a nice announcement and they also have some screens in the train that display the upcoming stops. just arrived to the Zurich main station. If you're like us and you need to make a connection, it's very common that they only schedule four to 10 minutes between connections, but you don't need to worry because they're Swiss trains. They're usually almost always on time. So you don't need to run, but go directly to your track. So here is our connecting train. We are all set. That is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Open Wild YouTube channel. The subscribe button is down below. And also let us know what do you want to know about Switzerland. We really want to do what you want to see. So leave your requests in the comments down below. That's it for today. Bye.